Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome to this continuous adventure. I have not stopped to do an end slate for a while, and I've just let my exploration be the end slate, which is really weird, but that's how I'm doing it. Uh, we're just kind of exploring, or we have been for the past couple of, of episodes. I've been in a really weird mood recording these, where I just go wherever my heart tells me to, or wherever I see something that looks cool, I go there. And so far it's been paying off, and I think that's kind of going to be the formula from episodes from here on out. Uh, I'm just going to see stuff, go there, and and then conquer it. It's It's been working out pretty well. So, where I am now, or where we were last episode, was we completed a quest that said we had to line up the three cedar trees and we'd find a trial encased in stone. And that was this shrine. And since then, in the end slate and also now, I've been swimming north for no reason. I saw this island and thought it looked cool. So I'm I'm exploring this. But I also have some directions from you guys on where I need to go this episode. So one of the one of the things, or rather, the one of the most recent episodes that has come out uh, in the time, in the uh, recent memory. Uh, there we go. Was the episode where I was looking for the Zora Helm. And I asked you guys, where? Where is it? Tell me, tell me where it is, because I will, I will find it for you. And so, there we go. And you guys actually posted a comment telling me where it was. And it was, a, apparently, it's at the bottom of one of those lakes. So we're going to go back there and grab that, uh, this episode. But we're also going to go back to the mountain. And see what that weird thing was at the summit. Because it was very odd. I'm not sure if it was a divine beast or or what. It was just really weird. Uh, and I didn't really know what to make of it. So we're going to be checking that out. But also there are some quests left at Hitano Village that need answered. And so we're going to be doing that as well. So you can see there's so many different things that I can do here. There are so many different paths that I can take. And really none of them are wrong. Uh, except, you know, I'm not... I'm not doing story stuff this time around, so we're going to be going and doing those. But first, I would like to go to the top of this this place here and just see what's there. So allow me to cut ahead where I do that. All right, up at the top, there's oh well, that wow, just two chests sitting here. <gasps> whoa, whoa, a gold rupee. And what's in here? If it's another gold ruby, I'll flip. It's a gold ruby! I'm fl I I'm flipping! What? <laughs> okay. Exploration. Oh, there's a Lionel. So that's what this is. So that's what this is. No, you see nothing, you see nothing. Uh, equip, stealth gear, stealth gear. Uh, that's not stealth gear. Uh, it's kind of hard to see my stealth gear now because I have so many items. Okay, stealth gear. Yeah, you don't know where I am. So that's what we were supposed to do. I kind of cheated then. Uh, the game wants us to, sn to sneak past the Lionel to get a reward or to fight him. But I just did it the easy way and came up from behind. Alright, so that's... That's a reward. Cool. Uh, let's, let's leave, actually. And, oh, hey, fox. There's so many foxes, and I don't want to kill them, because that feels wrong. Alright, so, now that I've gotten that, I could just keep exploring, but my heart truly lies back in Hateno Village, but also to get that go, to get that go Zora Helm. No, to go get that Zora Helm over here. So we're going to go back to Zora's Domain, and go, apparently it's in, like, Toto Lake or something, if... I don't find it now, then I will go back and look at the episode, the episode's comment section and uh, see what you guys were talking about. But I believe it's either around Lulu Lake or in Toymus or Toto Lake. So let's go there and I'll meet you guys back in a moment. Oh boy. Oh, I got a bass. Swim upward with my non-existent stamina. Oh, this is dangerous. This is so dangerous. I may actually drown from this. Wow, this is a this is a waterfall if I've ever ever seen one. Wow. Oh, I see, okay, so I need to be 
Very vigilant. Oh, okay. Um, actually, I don't need stamina. Cool. So I'm here. And Toto Lake is right over this way. And apparently, the helm is either here or another lake. I just... The only thing I remember about the comment in question was that the person said that it was at the bottom of a lake. I don't remember if it was this lake. So, keep that in mind. Take that with a grain of salt. This looks likely, just because there's a ruin here. Oh, hello. Chest hidden in nowhere. Hidden behind a little wall. Yeah, this may be it. This, it feels likely. And there it is. All right. It's as easy as that. So thank you, random commenter who who told me that. Uh, let's see. Zora had gear made from dragon scales. Increases swimming speed and allows you to use spin attack. Spin attack. In water, I assume? What is this spin attack? No, it's not that. Oh, if I press Y, it's basically the same thing as a normal boost, except it's also an attack. And it increases swim speed. Now, is there a set bonus from this? No. Alright, well, i also probably, in between episodes, in the end slate, uh, go to the Great Fairy and see how much armor I can equip, since... I, I haven't done that in a while, and I've gotten a lot of armor recently that is completely vanilla as it stands now. So, I have the Zora's Helm, I can swim really quickly, and the set's complete. Cool. Alright, uh, let's head back to Hateno Village, shall we? Back in Hateno Village, let's report back to Clavia, because she is the one who gave us that quest originally. Beyond the Three Summit Trees, did you ever make it over to... Over a, a Fromzia coast? Eh? What's wrong? Why the long face? Actually, a shrine? That's it? No treasure? Well, thanks for looking into it. I guess I'm kind of relieved, but I was really hoping there'd be some treasure. Well, that's all the reward we get, besides the, the awesome reward we got in the shrine itself. Alright, so, my quest right now, before I go up the mountain and see what that weird thing was at the summit is to try to find another quest and also to investigate this up here because apparently from the grapevine I heard that we could buy a house here so let's find out what that's all about and maybe we can get a house which would be awesome I would love to have a house or maybe not but it's still something we can explore make sure there's nothing down there there is nothing all right so howdy not you, you are inter are not interesting. Whoa, this place is actually empty. That's odd. Is this the house we can buy? Here, let's let's actually talk to this guy. Rain, yep. Another day, another rupee. What are you doing? Working hard, as you can see. This old house here is abandoned. Everyone in Hateno Village agreed we should demolish it. The old owner apparently went off to the castle to report for service. Never came back, never wrote, so away it goes. Hard work, huh? <laughs> yep, I wouldn't want it any other way, to be honest with you. Uh, can I buy it? Uh, let's ask who he is first. I just started at Bolson Construction. The name is Carlson. My trial period is done, and they finally hired me as an official member of the Bolson family. I'm so glad my name happens to end in son, you know? Yep, you heard me right. Apparently, your name has to end in son to work at Bolson Construction. The boss there says, the boss there was saying he was really looking into an expand in the business. But I'm wondering, just how many folks are out there with names ending in son? Maybe lots? Okay, so let's talk to him again. And see if we can buy it. I'll buy it. Well, I'm not into real estate, so I can't really help you out there. If you're really interested in this place, you're going to need to talk to the boss. Uh, is, are you the boss? Ah, what are you doing? I'm knocking this place down. Uh, I'll buy it. Where is the... Okay, surely this is the boss. Yeah, this is the boss. Morning! Need something from me? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough, not a lot of buyers, you know? So the villagers decided it was best to just tear it down. 
Uh, I'll buy it. Whoa, get a, log a load of young money bags. He just wants to buy it, huh? Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. See this house? Been vacant for years. So the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The, de the demol demolition starts with associated fees, permits, and other such details come in at 50,000 rupees. So when you'd say you'd buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. You got that much on, on you? Uh, that's not really possible. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> figured. When I was your age, I had serious money problems too, so I know how, how it feels all too well. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, look. Here's the deal just for you. I'll cut you a, small, a special price of 3,000 rupees. But in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles. Building materials, you know how it is. Anyway, you understand the terms. Then get to it and show me what, you, you, what you're built out of. That's a construction joke. Hudson, Carlson, stop what you're doing. You got it. All right, so that's our other quest. Uh, 3,000 rupees is a little bit steep, but it, it almost sounds worth it. I mean, we get a house, and all I have to do is waste my weapon getting wood bundles. That's That sounds f f fair. So I'll probably do that a little bit later, but now that we've gotten that quest, I'll just give Hedano Village one more once-over, and if there's nothing else to be had, then I will go to the mountain, and then we can end off the episode there. I have no clue how where we are on time. I honestly haven't for the, the longest amount of time, but, uh, whoa. Hello. But it's, it's something that, you know, I... I'm fine with episodes ending early if we did something during them. Ah, so there are still some who still owe me, pay me homage. You can talk? You don't say. You can hear my voice? Now that is a surprise. What are you praying for? Long life? Wealth? Like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She trapped me in the stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here call me the Horn Statue and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me mend my ways. One would think wrongly. I have only been hi biding my time for the moment someone c who can hear me appears. Such as you. But I've said enough. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Then stay that way. No further action on your part is required. Whoa! Um... Hello? Fwahaha. <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. Now I... Now how... Now... Bleh. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Um... Um... What's wrong then? Have your prayers gone unanswered? Give it back, man. I... I already have few hearts as is. I, I need more. I need that. He, he straight up took a heart from me. Fahaha. <laughs> Do you think I, I d deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which will be? As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I can provide valuable service to you. I take heart containers or stamina vessels from you. And then, for a price, return whichever of the two you like. What? So, okay, I can exchange them, but that means I do have one fewer things than I had before. Um. Um. Can I have my heart back? A wise choice. Now remain still. Now, please don't take my stamina. I need that. Okay, my heart's back. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price raises to 120 rupees. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose whichever one I, which one I give to you. A heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help tamper with your essence anytime you want to return and pray here. So, can I just buy a thing? 
Uh, no, it looks like I can. I just have to exchange them. Interesting. That's. That's weird. So I can surrender. Yeah, okay, so I can exchange them for essentially the price of, one, of 20 rupees because he'll buy them for 100. And then I can buy a new one for 120. That's. That's odd. That's kind of odd. Huh. Well, while we're at it, I think I'm going to surrender. Yes, I'll surrender one heart container. Sounds weird, but just just give me a moment to to explain myself. So I'm going to lose a heart here, go down to 5. And then I will get Okay, I want one back. I want a stamina vessel. So total I only had to pay 20 rupees. And I exchanged for more stamina. This seems sketchy. But it's a thing I can do. Alright, that's interesting. So, I didn't read that because I thought I could get the text again. But apparently... I'll talk to Mount, uh, him again and... Oh, okay. Ask anyone what the fa most famous mountain visible from Hintano Village is, and they'll tell you Mount Lanayru. Yeah, Mount Lanayru's interesting. The Spring of Wisdom, the Princess of Hyrule used for purification, is said to be somewhere on that mountain. A special fountain that the, pr that the princess had to endure hardship to visit? I bet the royal family left a treasure there. Well, at least maybe they could have. I, I would have if I was royal. Anyway, Mount Lanayru is a mysterious place and engulfed in ice. If there is treasure, no one's getting it. So yeah, not sure if any of that inf information was actually useful. Okay, so that... That is where I want to go, and we just made a side quest of it, so let's do two of two things up there, shall we? Back up at the top, this is also the switch that I I needed to press. Buddy, leave. Oh, boy. Come on, get me out of this. There we go. Let's take this. Alright, so my plan is, because the timer was really short, uh, if I recall... Let's see. Uh, let's equip a different shield. This one should do the trick. I can jump. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to sled down this hill. And this will be the, the first time I get to do this. Oh, snap! There we go. Go, go, go. Sail down. Go. Run. Ah, oh, snap. So close. So close. Ready, set, go. Let's go. Surfing. We're surfing. Go, go, go. Run, fly, fly, fly. Oh, come on. What? Did I do it? I did it. Wow, that was close. That was so close. And we did all that for one Korok seed. Oh, man, that was, that was to the wire. All right, so now the real reason why I'm up on this mountain is to get to that weird thing we saw near the summit. I don't I don't even remember when. Like I said, I've just been recording for a long time and doing outros whenever I thought that the episode would have been over. So Wolf and I are going to head up there. Uh, it's nice because I have the climbing gear on me, as well as the warm doublet. So I'm able to, to climb really well, but still, it's tough going. And I would not be able to survive up here if I didn't have cold resistance. Uh, so about the cold resistance, I ended up buying or going to Zora's Domain and buying a fish that would allow me to to resist the cold and then fixing uh, those ingredients over on the Great Plateau because that was the the only the easiest and most accessible uh, pot that I could think of. So 
now I have that. And we're heading up, up there, because that thing is weird. And apparently there's also a shrine on top of this mountain, so we'll go ahead, we'll grab that as well. Or not a shrine, but a, a purification fountain that apparently Zelda used to purify herself. I have a feeling they're referencing Skyward Sword when they say that. Also, I don't think I'll be able to climb this. Uh, I might be able to. I, I think I can. But apparently, uh, it's it's probably one of the the fountains that Zelda used to purify herself in Skyward Sword. So we're going to try that. Also, I do have a food that will restore my stamina. So if I get into a bind, which I will probably get into a bind here, I can eat that. Uh, now, oh, or I can get a really sketchy ledge. Okay. Now, about Wolf Link, because I haven't talked about him much. He's just kind of been an afterthought. Um, Wolf Link has three hearts, uh, and he was a promotional thing with the, uh... We're heading up there. He was... He came with, uh, Toilet Princess HD. Now, he... Getting him, uh, unlocked an additional Cave of Ordeals in Toilet Princess HD, which I probably will be showing off when I let's play that game. Um, and... The hearts you have leaving that dungeon, music is changing, the hearts you have while leaving that dungeon are, uh, are the hearts that Wolf Link will have when you summon him in this game. The music is getting really weird, and I'm starting to think that th I'm, get I'm approaching a Divine Beast right now. Oh, hello. Ow. Whoa, ow. That hurt. Uh, well, now is as good a time as any to eat my my cold-resistant skewer. And then I'll kill... Oh, wow. Damage. A lot of damage. Uh, let's eat these. And this. And I don't have any fire arrows on me, I don't think. Okay. These guys deal a lot of damage. Uh, let's... No, no. Oh! Let's equip a new weapon. Arrows. This. And... Whoa, Keys! Why are there enemies everywhere? Kill him too! Okay, get another Claymore. Kill these Keys before they can freeze me. Oh, I can't take that. Uh, do I have any trash weapons? I've been using this, so let's get this used up. Alright, I think I'm biting off a little bit more than I can chew for this episode. Thank you! Thanks, Wolf! Yeah, hit him while he's down. Hopefully I don't hit Wolf. Whoa, what was that? Uh... Oh, ow. That hurt, but I managed to kill him. Neat, and we're getting some white choo-choo jelly. Whew! That was... That was an ordeal. Uh, in fact, you know what? That was such an ordeal. I think I'm going to end it here. Because this this feels like Divine Beast territory. And I'm a bit... I'm a bit worried. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. We got a lot done in these past couple of episodes, and I am still going to... I'm going to continue recording. So... See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> that was the Doodlebug song. Which did not rhyme. It's a terrible song, actually. It's only to be sung at funerals and weddings. Both. Oh, snap. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what? That...